so we're here at the Thin Film. And um, so who are you? Hi, I'm Thomas. I'm with uh, Thin Film Electronics. We are a small company based in Norway, in Oslo. Actually not small, we have 40 people sitting in Sweden, in Linköping, and 40 in San Jose, right in the middle of Silicon Valley. Are you and, a new company? Uh, we are a, a company maybe developing now 12 years printed electronics. 12 years? And yes, this is a brand new idea to create electronics by printing. And we are all uh, very familiar with both electronics and printing. Let's say electronics, we all have the smartphones, almighty electronic items. They can do video streaming, GPS and everything. And we know printing as a technology to print paper, uh, print, paper print newspapers, on. distribute information. Bibles. Bibles, for example. And you maybe read the newspaper in the morning a minute and someone calls you and you throw it away. You use disposable printing. And so uh, you're making electronics uh, that looks like this. Yes, exactly. All kinds of different things right here. So but this is, uh, this is how you explain what you're doing, right? So, yes, we need a new way to create electronics. Let's say we all know the almighty microchips powering your iPad and your TV and everything. But we have a area where there is no electronics yet. Let's think about clothing, your shirt, your shoes. Uh, and also the next step up for trillions of items, disposable items, medicals, food, uh, pharmaceuticals, cosmetics, a wine bottle, drinks. We all use many disposable items and there is no smartness. We mostly use them and throw them away. But so you want to make all these devices smart too? Yes, let's say um, a selection of it and... Uh, Clothes uh, and all that stuff. Yeah, and uh, the important topics for the future are, for example, to save energy, use energy smart, switch off the light, or let's say food waste. This is an issue which is more and more important for us. And this is a, we all know the expiry date and people look at the expiry date and throw away the food. But it might be perfectly good. All right, so are you making displays? Yes, this is, this a, is a printed display printable and flexible display and it can show you a simple message let's say active not active not good expired so uh, it can it can uh, make it less and more uh, uh, what do you call it uh, bright or bright, visible uh, yeah visible? Yes. this is electrochromic ink so it changes the color by applying a current a, a voltage is this easy to manufacture or is it very, very special and you can't manufac mass manufacture it yet? Uh, no, we can manu mass manufacture it and it even comes on rolls printed. So you can imagine if you print out one kilometer of rolls of electronic devices. Here we go into volumes that, that can match the internet of everything. What's this one? This is a simple memory chip. It can store data. So it's like a hard drive, but it's a very small uh, one? Yes, it, there's not, we're not talking gigabyte, we're talking a few bits. But it might be important information. Let's say, where is an item manufactured? Is it still in warranty? You don't need a gigabyte to, to decide this. Or, let's say, another example is a combination of a few interesting components. A temperature sensor telling you the limit has been exceeded or not. Two thresholds, very important for fresh food, for vaccines. So this is really important for uh, many things. Yes, uh, sometimes it's uh, important for a vaccine. Uh, maybe it's a, how do you say, a life uh, important question. Or it's just an important question of eating a fish which is rotten or not good or good, fresh. So, uh, how big is it so far? How big is it going to be in the next few years, this industry? Um, how big is it so far? We sell these simple data labels as brand protection for luxury goods. And people can read the label and say, yes, this is still in warranty, or it's, it's, it should not be in Singapore, but it's manufactured for the London market or something. All right, so uh, this is already uh, in big volume. Yeah. And then the next product we have out there is a tag which goes into shoes or clothing and when you run out the store and do not pay for your shirt it will sound the alarm oh so this is so it's gonna sold. be like they, they have right now but more invisible exactly not those clunky big white tags is it as efficient uh, signal 
Yes, absolutely. The RFID and, or what's it called? And there's another really important point. Um, people have been doing this, they call it source tagging, for many years. But those tags wake up again. So you suddenly have 10% uh, of your shoes waking up again. You produce 1 million, 100,000 shoes are active. And it's both annoying for the customer and for your store. And now we have a tag which can be reliably deactivated. So people start again to source tag uh, products because we can deactivate it and it will stay quiet and you don't annoy your wife or girlfriend by being a burglar or being accused as a... So how do you get all these uh, awesome things into uh, large volumes of actual real products? How do we get uh, it you, out there? Do you like, uh, work with your customers and you get it to uh, something that is uh, ready? I mean, yes, actually we have an excellent team of, of salespeople and a, a global office uh, base to, to attack uh, the interesting customer. And these are projects with, let's say, the world's largest producer of alcohol. A tag which secures the bottle and you can uh, detect if it has been open or not. And that's a very important question. Nice. And this is 100% reliable or is it possible to tamper this? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. What is 100% reliable, but we have a very good uh, yield and it is, is commercial quality and it's going to be rolled out in uh, uh, in high volumes quite soon. Cool, so you put your, uh, yes, we have your phone, a, you can see the, the age of it maybe also or something? Uh, yes, that's up to the marketing guys to decide which information. But let's say the first demo is you scan the bottle and it tells you it has been factory sealed, it's the original bottle. And it, if it was open, then if it, it was open, we scan this bottle, and we're not breaking the antenna, so the the tag is still alive. Bottle has been opened, and, and it has been opened. And NFC, NFC, any everyone, NFC Android phone is good. Exactly, everyone has a thousand dollar reader in his pocket, and this application is all about the consumer experience, because you can continue to send information, you can reach direct to customer and tell them, be part of the experience, new flavors, new special editions. So uh, how's it been here at the show? And uh, this is the Printer Electronics Europe. So are you kind of like stars around here, or? Uh, yes, it's a lot be of cool like, competitors. To stars, what's going but on? we are. I think we are. Uh, companies been coming furthest for developing products, not only single components, but we are products in the market which large companies want and pay for. And this show has been a great feedback from people saying, yes, this is what we want, and please get back to us after the show, and we need to see your team and uh, start developing products together. All right, so uh, it's been a fun, fun show, and the next show is even going to be more action-packed, I guess, right? Absolutely. There is one show in the US, also in November, always from ID TechX, and there is... Uh, uh, and you have some, some, some uh, colleagues over there nearby, yes, right? Yes, we have a office in San Jose, that's uh, Silicon that's Valley. two minutes away from the yes, conference. exactly. All right. So that's a home game for us. All right, so see you there. Okay, cool, thank you.